Hey guys, this is the Derpy Kitten, and today we are back with Train Simulator 2020. We are on the Hamburg to Hanover route, doing a scenario in the Displock BR-189, I think? This is actually the third time that I've tried to record this video. First time, Mum walked in and interrupted. Second time, I ran out of space on the computer, so hopefully... It'll RFB. actually work this time. RFB. Set the AFB to 40 kilometers per hour. Slowly accelerate so that I don't get negative points for driver quality. Because that happened. Request a pass signal in danger approved. And accelerate. So this is the Dispolock BR-189. German train, as you can probably tell. Um, the Hamburg to Hanover route is mainly a high-speed passenger um, route, but I decided to do something different and do it as a freight service. This scenario, it says it's about 50 minutes long, so not sure if anyone will actually watch till the end. But if you do, thank you very much. Of course, I don't get paid for YouTube because I'm just a tiny itty bitty channel in the corner. And I think you need like a thousand. No, you don't need a thousand subscribers to get paid, but you need a lot of watch time and stuff. And at the time of recording, I only have 40 subscribers. Ooh, slow down. Driver quality again. You kidding me. Couple. I'll keep. Go into the cab. Switch ends. Switch ends. There we go. Stick the cab light on. FB set. Uh, stick on CIFA, uh, not PZP, because that always screws me over. So now we got two, and we're hauling an intermodal train. Let's get the headlights on as well. Signaling systems in Germany are weird compared to the UK. Same in uh, the USA. Signaling systems way off. Hopefully, I won't run out of space this recording. CIFA. CIFA. Yeah, to acknowledge the CIFA and PZB and stuff, you need a number pad. It's annoying, but hey ho. The main reason that I don't use PZB is because there's like these distant signal things that I apparently fail to acknowledge, but no alarm goes off in the cab or anything, no buttons light up. So, don't know how that works, because I'm snoopy. How the CIFA works, um usually like a little button lights up there for five seconds after those five seconds the audible warning happens and then I think after it says see for three times the emergency brakes are applied and that of course isn't good 60 kilometers now bring the AFB up to 60 Nah, screw it. Turn CIFA off. The way you turn CIFA on and off is shift and number pad enter. And the way you turn PB PZB on and off is control number pad enter. So, very similar, but... LZB is basically automated train control. 
it turns on automatically when you reach like a section of track and then uh, it'll automatically adjust you to go uh, the upcoming speed limits and it will hold your speed as well Ooh, high speed bit over there kind of annoying how the horn is just a set tone because in like on the UK routes and stuff you can hold your horn down for as long as you want okay so that was the LZB engaging so now we shall speed up to the speed limit and this little bar here it tells you how far uh, you have until the next speed change so right now the next one's about uh, 800 meters away 750 <sighs> Get much sleep last night. Okay, we have a green signal. Heavy haulage. Not that heavy compared to America. For some reason, on this route, whenever you go under a bridge or something, it gets extremely loud and echoey. my brakes applied slightly. Oh god. If I mess something up. Seven minutes have been gone for already. This is quite a long scenario. Then I just press 8 to go to free cam and new. Yeah, it's quite long. Compared to here in the UK. Graph flash. Can I go any faster than a hundred and forty? Because I kind of need to keep on time here. So that's where I need to be. That's where I am. And this is where we're finishing. At Hamburg, which is quite close to Hamburg. But yeah, we're here, going all the way over to here. It's quite far. Might make this, uh, part video just so that I can save space on the computer. LZB Yeah, this train is supposed to have two I guess it doesn't. What do these things do? Add to graph. All uh, useless. Emergency brake. Let's not touch that. What about this stuff? Can I change any of this? Can I open the cab door? No. Oh, look, I'm in my chair. Literally. Can't open the window. I'm gonna change any of this. No. I paid money for this. 
Again, this video is for a school project, and this is mainly my LS thing that I decided to do. Um, <laughs> so this is basically all I've been spending my time doing in quarantine. Yeah, I've been going out for bike rides, trying to not get my trains to derail on my model railway, but it's really badly built and it's quite tiny. <laughs> well, it looks like we can't go any faster than this. But... Well, if I could figure out how to release those brakes... Why do you not release? Ah. Wow, I look dead inside. Yeah, it looks like we can't go any faster than this, so I have a funny suspicion that we will not be on time for this. And that I'll probably go into the negative of negative thousands of points. Which is fun, fun, fun. Got 1.1 kilometers, and I'm supposed to be there in 10 seconds. Google Hangouts, thank you very much. system in this game is kind of useless in my opinion because all it does is give you stars that don't do anything and even if you get negative points it still lets you complete the scenario you shouldn't be going back up to 200 kilometers an hour a speed that I will never ever reach in this thing This video is going to be so much longer than my last one. I have a feeling. There's the piece of B. No, L is at B, sorry. Ah, just to give us. No, I can't turn on Sifa. Oh no. Basically just have to sit here now because the train will drive for itself basically the entire way there. Yeah. 
What's your next? Uh, be there in four minutes, and it's seven kilometers. Oh, I did manage to serve the sea fall. That's pretty neat. Yeah, usually the Seafront PZB are locked while you're moving. Aha, I acknowledged it before it yelled at me. Yay. Hopefully this video actually counts as creativity or else I'm just making this for no reason whatsoever. It will be going down to 160 in a moment, but I do not care because I can't actually reach that speed. anything? No. Just decided to yell at me twice. Soon the LZB will go off once again. In three, two, one. C5. No else that'd be apparently. There we go. What? Page down. What? What? Oh. It's telling me to reduce my speed. Oh no. No! All my points! Big brain aim. Speed go up? Speed do go up. Does it? Oh, I don't have throttle, that's why. I must smell this. Hi! Force player, what? What is that? What's it gonna force me to do? I don't know. What's happening? Literally nothing. Wow, thanks so much. 
get some more hangouts messages, sorry about that. Don't know if you can actually hear it in the recordings, but I can definitely. What? No! Damn it! Come on, take that off and go. Throttle, go. Yes! Drive quality, damn it. I'm not good at this game. Of course I go out the cab as soon as the C4 alarm goes off. Acceleration. Caught it that time. Yes. Hopefully there's not another distant signal. Because I do not know what the next signal is. The next signal is green. And now we can just sit back and relax again. <laughs> Okay, apparently we cannot relax. Let's see if I'm going to look. In the German trains, it's probably easiest to drive um, hardless, which basically just looks like this. I don't like it. Sifa. Sifa. Gotcha. <gasps> Going to 140, it's because we're on a downhill though. What's my brake pressure at? It's still not fully released. Another freight train. Go to the back so that we can see it. MRCE Black something. I don't know. But of course it's dark. Every lemon freight scenario is dark. Why is there all these random speed changes that go from 160 to 200? Yup. Sifa. Signal, oh, oh no, is it a distant signal? I do not know. Okay, it's a yellow. Okay, slow down, slow down, yep, acknowledge. 80 kilometers per hour, see if, uh, I'm getting a hang of this. There we go. Look at that! What? What? Um. Damn it. Why are you making me slow down so much? Sifa, Sifa. Bloody Sifa. 
as well. Just as I said, I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, it's because I'm switching tracks, that's why. God freaking damn it. Oh! I got some points. Still negative score though, because I'm the best at this game. If you can even call it a game. Force player 2, let me guess, that's also going to do nothing. What's my next signal? It's still a yellow. Great. I don't trust that 200 limit. I don't like it. No. I still have no idea how the German signaling system works. Can I go? Nah. Okay, it's actually just gone back to six. Why are we switching back over again? What was the point in that? Like, did we just switch to the middle track so that we could go through the middle of the station and then switch right back to this track? What's the point in that? That force player two did nothing. I have no idea what that does. We've already surpassed the length of my other video. Because up here, I have a little thing that I don't think you can see. So I can, like, run and uh, stop the recording, which I'm not going to do. But it also tells me how long I've been recording for. Full throttle! Because we can finally go again. And we have a green signal. Yes! Oh, we'd be holding again, sorry. Why did that so blow me? Spannung Oberstroff. Zog. Zug busy. I display. Then just double you. Usually in the UK and America, that W is on a sign just before a railroad crossing. And it's basically a sign to tell the driver to blow their whistle. Or horn or whatever. Speaking of whistles. Uh, just up the road from me, um, next door to Duck Cannonan, is a big steam tractor. It's not like a museum piece or anything, he just owns it for the fun of it. And I got to do this on it, so I think I'm quite cool. <laughs> and you can hear that whistle from the other side of the village. Still on a downhill, which is good. That means I can get some extra speed. Green signal, yes! Oh, you got it once again! Somehow, I accidentally detached a lot of cars um, while I was moving on a Sherman Hill scenario that I was going to record. Just kind of ejected the back of my train, but I didn't want to do that. Because 
so I just got like negative 500 points invalid consist and I'm like what why and I checked the map and apparently I abandoned half of my train without pressing any buttons get that frame rate up and running whoa 150 frames a second boys whoa oh wow I can put the curtains down that's amazing oh oh no oh no uh, this this edge down Sifa oh. How am I speeding? I'm not good. Huh. Let me guess, I'm going to swap tracks again. Yep. <laughs> what is the point? Oh, let me guess, there's another station. Sifa, Sifa. Body Sifa. Screw. Off you go, Sifa. Wow, I only have negative 70 points. I am best at the game. Okay. Just gonna quickly slow down to 60. Just in case. Please don't screw me up. Ha! I was right, it was 60. Ha 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 ha. Where are we? Okay, so we've only got. Uh, wait, where, where am me? So we're here. Uh, we actually don't have that far to go. We've gone quite a distance. Now we're just going from here to here. Oh! next signal is still a not fast one great once I pass here I'm just gonna press tab to request signal to pass danger because uh, that usually just tells me it let a pop-up comes here if there is a danger signal ahead and there is not which is good I like Probably gonna be late to this next um, go via thing, but I do not care. Also, uh, thank you, Train Sim Fan, for the DBBR 605 or the ICE TD or Iced T. Iced T. Anyway, sounds like Iced T. Ha, uh, funny. I still can't go fast. Wow. That's because we're switching tracks again. Whoa. Yeah. Why do we switch tracks so much? I'm yawning again! Uh, force player 3. Oh wow, I have a green signal. Those are some bright signals. Yeah, I think the lights on this route are kind of messed up because everything appears extremely bright. Can I go fast now? I say fast, but I can. I'm off. This 
got very dark from when I started this story, isn't it? Okay, we're not to 140 kilometers per hour. Oh boy, I sure hope that LZB doesn't turn off halfway through. Because that has happened to me. I'm dying again! Stop! Voice crack. Try and work out how to get the webcam on this laptop working. That I can do like these camp and stuff. That would be pretty neat. Seven. Whoa, we're almost at the speed limit. Next route I'm gonna get is either the Fort William to Madlake or something called the Albula Line or Albula Line. It's a Swiss route and it's extremely steep. But it is standard gauge, which is weird. Oh we're going two hundred now. Never mind back down to hundred and four. But yeah, it's uh it's actually the best rated route in Train Simulator. Um, along with the, I think it's the Weardale or Teasdale network. That one's all, uh, the second best and it's got over 200 miles of line. And one of the bits of the route is actually the entire route of the Tees Valley line for Train Sim World that I have station. That's actually a very good route. I recommend you get it if you have trains in world. Uh, along with the uh, class 31 I think. That makes it. Class 31 is actually really good. Okay, we're supposed to be there in four minutes, but we've only got one and a half kilometers to go. Something tells me we are running early. Which is change. Yeah, whenever I do, like, fre long freight uh, scenarios on the Norfolk Southern Coal District or Feather River Canyon, I always get deducted points for being really late. God, I've been going for like 40 minutes now. There's my points, thank you very much. Let's hope that it's a green signal. It's a green signal. Yep, yeah, it's a green signal. Thank you very much. Also, um, tell me in the comments uh, what route you'd like to see next. 
uh, at the end of this video if I can remember I'll show you all the routes that I have tell me what scenario you'd like to see me do if you actually want to see me do any more train simulator I know that most people don't but yes LS department go check out my YouTube channel I need more subscribers Come on, train, you can do it. You're not very fast, are you? We've only got one more thing to go via before we are actually at our destination. Oh no, a fan's aware of how long I'm taking. I'm sorry it's taking so long. And if you'll probably actually get to the end. Only the true fans get to the end. But yeah, look at me, I'm doing that quirky YouTuber thing where it's like, hey if you got to the end, comment this. And today I want you to comment I like trains, just like the Astiff movie kit. Ha, I'm funny for pop culture reference. Ha. But yeah, uh, this route, I didn't actually get just the route. I got a bundle with it. Uh, that came with a bunch of different trains. Uh, I think it was £30, which is quite decent in my opinion. Going down to 140 Yes, we're switching tracks again. Yeah, it doesn't really like to accept my um, acknowledge. Yep, we're switching tracks. Oh my god, stop switching tracks. Uh, point six kilometers, and I'm on time once again. Wow, 15 frames a second. Amazing. I'm just gonna slow down to my 60 kilometers per hour that I think's coming up. Uh, 
There we go. Oh, no, it was actually just an 80. Damn it. These cars have passed over the switch, which would be... Now we have a speed increase. Coolio, coolio. Okay, we're actually stopping in 10 kilometer. I don't know if I need to acknowledge all these beeps or not. But yeah, since my ticket's so dark, Jesus. I thought this scenario was in the early morning, not the early evening. There's a lot of beeping going on in this cab, isn't there? Maybe next round I'll try and do it with uh, PZB and C phone at the same time. See how many times I have the emergency brake supplied. Spoiler, it will be quite a long time. Okay, we've been going for 50 minutes almost now. We are stopping in just under five kilometers. Still got a green. I thought that red was our signal. I panicked. Already. 
I'm getting good at this German signaling thing. Speeding. Oh no, it's a 60. No. No, I was doing so well. I was going to get a positive score. No. No. Okay. Um. signal is actually a red so better not pass it oh we're going down here okay interesting we're now in the sighting doesn't actually look like a big yard from inside the cab because you can't bloody see anything There's another set of intermodal cars. Okay, I'll wait until my entire train's in the siding and then I stop. Here we go. Still can't see anything. <laughs> so now, what we do, turn FB off, put it into neutral. There we go. Made that good time, yeah. Only scores 123. That's a lot of speeding. Oh, and then the emergency brake settings. But uh, yeah, I'll quickly show you all the routes that I have so that you can request uh, for the next video. So we got Norfolk Southern Coal District, Doncaster Works, Donner Pass, Feather River Canyon, Hamburg to Hanover. That's the one we did. For some reason, there's no picture. Uh, New Jersey Transit, Norfolk Southern N Line. North Jersey Coast, um, Nuremberg to Regensburg Bahn, uh, Sherman Hill, South Wales Coastal, South Wales Coastal but longer, uh, Southwestern Main Line, and the West Somerset Railway. So, that is the end of this video. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, haha, <laughs> quirky. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video, and I shall see you in the next one if I actually get bothered to upload another one. Derpy Kitten, out.